So, uh, let's get up and personal. When I first started video editing and doing content creation, I had no idea what I was doing seven to eight years ago. I literally said yes to every client. So I'm going to walk you through exactly why you should work for free and why you should never work for free as a video creative. This also includes things like if you're a copywriter, if you're a graphic designer, if you're UX, UI, any sort of service. I'm going to talk about exactly when you should work for free and when you should never and use that as a red flag to run for the damn hills. So there is two routes that you want to go down when it comes to working for free. You either want to be a freelancer or working for a corporate job as a full-time video editor, videographer for a client. So in these two positions, it's pretty much the same thing. When it comes to working for free, if you apply for a job, maybe if you're in the third or fourth round, then if there's a 50% chance that they're going to make you do a test project, then yes, do that work for free. And depending on how much hours of work that is, you want to consider whether or not that is actually worth your time. You want to do a lot of research into the company that you're applying for and to see if they're legitimate or not. You would be greatly surprised. And then yes, do that work because it is the dream job or dream client that you want to work for. Now, on the other hand, when it comes to when you work for free as a freelancer, if you want to try to get the attention of a prospective client of yours, then yes, work for free so you can initially get your foot in the door. That is my advice to you. If you don't have any experience at all and your portfolio is mediocre, I've gotten people sent me like resumes or even little videos and I'm like, this is not what I'm actually looking for. So when you don't have a strong portfolio and you don't have strong connections, work for free. And the younger you are and the less expenses you have, you're living with your parents, you don't have to pay rent, you don't have kids, you don't have a partner, by all means, work for free. When you are 16 years old to let's say even 30 years old, Work for free under those conditions that A, you do not have any experience, you are looking to train, and think of you are not investing yourself in the marketing operations, but you're investing yourself in training and skills, and you're training your time to get that experience and tr skills so you can eventually level up two to three to four to five years down the road. So you should absolutely never work for free when you already have an established portfolio and demo reel and built up a clientele. People have paid you the amount of money that you have asked for and someone is lowballing you. And three, it is not an ideal client of yours. You need to ask yourself, why are you going towards this client? Are you having this needy or scarcity mindset where you're just taking any client for the sake of taking a client? Watch that video first on all the things I wish I learned when I first started video editing. Check that video out first where you want to be picky with your clients. If you have experience, you do not want to take any client. And the last and final most red flag when it comes to working for free, if they promise you exposure, if they don't even realize you are exchanging your own blood, sweat, and tears to your own content, and they're like, yeah, you'll get really great exposure, and maybe one to three years down the line, then we will pay you. That is a huge red flag. Stay away from these people. These clients will... They, a, they do not value your time and expertise and skills, and they're much of a bootstrap or budget-friendly type of person. You know, there's a room and place for that, and they're more likely suited to go places like Fiverr and Upwork. And if you actually want to learn the things that I've learned, you can book a coaching call for me where I will literally walk you through and help you and coach you in terms to getting your first video client. Maybe you want to start learning my resources first. I also have a full-fledged course in the link below where I help you decide whether or not should you go A, freelance, or should you're better off being so suited towards a full-time video job. These are the things where I wish someone would have told me, where it's like, be careful about this, be warned about this. If someone ever says the word exposure, run, bro. Just freaking run. It is not worth it. 
you are better off getting experience and clients. And the only times you do work for free, quote unquote, is if it's a really a client that you are actually interested in or you don't have that much experience. And then you offer your time because that's all you have. If you watch this far, smash that like button, subscribe for more of these very relatable heart to heart conversations from one creative to another. And my name is Peter, and you're watching Broke Vision A Collective, where we all start with nothing, but you can always create something. Cheers, guys.